the person of Lord and Savior. All right? We live for Him. We will die for Him, especially in the era of ISIS, uncertainty. The world is full of evil, right? Full of darkness, right? And let us be a light into this world. Uh, JR, do you know Jesus Christ? Amen. So, when God, for example, takes you today, and you are face to face with Jesus in heaven, He will ask you this question. JR, why will I lead you to my kingdom? What did you say to Him? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody here who doesn't know Jesus Christ? Of course you know it, right? Alright. So looking back, historically, my first cousins are here because of the blessing of the Lord. Their parents, my parents, loved the Lord Jesus Christ. We were not, we were not very poor. We were not very rich. I was average, but still below the average Filipino at the time, you know? I mean, you know. So, because of their faith, they tied, they served the Lord. Rain or shine, they went to the church. They had prayer meetings. They didn't neglect their faith in the Lord. Uh, I wasn't meant to this before, but being a Mexican doesn't mean you're a Christian, right? When I came to America, that's when I realized that religion doesn't think that being a Methodist or a Baptist doesn't save you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, living in Him, Genesis 16, right? For God to love the world, you know that, right? That He gave His hope only because He said that whoever believes in Him will not perish for God's We know that in our hearts. After I speak, you guys can stand up and say how the Lord has blessed you. All this years. Thank you, I know you were a little. I know you were. <laughs> now you're a resident nurse. You're alive. I believe I didn't. I never saw you when you were. How old were you in here? I didn't How old was she? I was in the early 81. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she was asking about Emily. Emily. <laughs> Alright, to continue, um, so the how you were raised, Methodist. We got two the siblings, right? We were Methodist. So not that because I turned my back on Methodism, but because I believe that what the, the church I'm with now is serving, uh, fulfills my spiritual needs. It makes me grow as a Christian. Like most of you, you join your church because that's where you're growing, right? That's where you will grow and you're growing, right? Alright. So, because of Jesus, our faith in Jesus Christ, that kept us standing together, despite all the deaths, the bad has died, most of my hunts died, right? My parents are dead. And some of my cousins, like Gaspar, I'm sorry, yes. that's one. Yeah. We lost a lot, right? Some of us have cancer. Some of our, our, our diabetes, hypertension. This goes to show that our life work is only temporary, right? This is temporary money. Our stay in California, in New Jersey, is very temporary. So, we have a lot of things to thank for the Lord. The reason why I brought you is because this is our way of thanksgiving for the Lord, for sustaining me and family throughout these years. We've been married 26 years after my people, but it's amazing. It's we were married, we were We thought we would have a child, but you know, the Lord gives, the Lord takes away, right? There is a purpose. Of course, we were disappointed, coming from a large family of 11 children. Some of my children didn't have children, but that did not stop me to start, stop loving God or serving the Lord. In fact, that empowered us, encouraged us to do more for the Lord. Single or married, divorced, single, with cancer or not cancer, you can serve the Lord in any way. We are a light unto this world, correct? Where you live. Where you work, I think I Steve, everybody. Where you work, you are a light that people see, that people see Jesus in you. We are little Christians. We are witnesses for you. I give you the space. Let's give him a sermon, right? So, anybody just want to. Say something about 
you know, the feelings about God and, and relatives. I'm so happy to see you all. I don't know, Miss, we don't know when we're going to see you again, right? Tomorrow is that primary? I could be going at it, dead the next minute, the plane crashes. So that's how important life is. But God promises, because He lives, we will face tomorrow, right? Amen. Amen. Let's stop not talking, Alvin. I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs>